Back out. As you will, my thing. I will protect you with my life. You. You were talking to that murderous savage. And then he escaped. What are you hiding? What is it, Argonian?
Are you finished, ogling the grotesque? What's on your mind? I will remain on guard here.
Ah, oh, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Mmm. Yes, the silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. Now, down to business. I'm arranging a job for you. But in the meantime, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. The Unholy Matron, the Shrouded Lady, the Mistress of the Void. She goes by many names. Ages past, Sithis gave a woman five children. She killed them to win his favor, thus becoming the Night Mother. If you believe that sort of thing. Today, she's... well, she's a skeleton. An ancient corpse. But more importantly, a corpse that's being brought to this sanctuary by her keeper. Yes. A few months ago, I received word from the Night Mother's keeper that he had arrived in Skyrim from Cyrodiil. The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was destroyed, a result of the chaos caused by the war with the Thalmor. That forced a relocation. I don't know where the Keeper has been these past few months, but I recently received another letter. He's bringing the Night Mother here. Soon. Try not to? But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell, or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. Some members of the Thieves Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets, but we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again and liked it even more. And so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership. And now, here we are. 
Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. Again, again. Do the part where he tries to buy you some candy. Okay, okay, wait. Here we go. Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mom and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop through this alley. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you are so beautiful. Such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! No, <laughs> bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes. Please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. A little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damn messy. And what of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy chasing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. So, you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Ah, going for the mysterious and brooding thing, huh? That may work for your targets, but you'll find I'm not so easily impressed.
did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either, but they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. I'll teach you how to use it effectively, and keep you quick on your feet. Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the Beggar Narfi, an ex-Miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytilde, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytild's angry and desperate, a fighter. He lives just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. Happy hunting. Well, well, it's raw meat. Oh, my beautiful wife has told me all about you. I'll give you a week before you end up dead in a ditch. Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but... My wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment. So you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. I hate annoying people. And the color blue gives me a headache. Right then. Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to. You go your way, I'll go mine. Hmm. Hmm. I like to say I was born with a wand in my hand. Well, not literally. You can see how painful that would have been for Mother. But I was a prodigy, casting simple spells by one, completing complex incantations by three, resurrecting corpses by seven. Ha! Ah! When I was 13, I accidentally burned down the family home. Bit of lightning gone awry. Oh, but soon after, I mastered my gifts. Come. Completely. I went on to teach at the college. Left after two years. Too simple. Too safe. None of them truly understood the glory of the destruction school. Go. In 
Incinerate some poor bastard for me. Welcome, my brother. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. You just trust in Astrid, follow her orders, and you'll do fine here. Once I was a Shadow Scale, an assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Kill well and often. Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood for a day. I am Shadow Scales. Born under the sign of the Shadow. you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gag with you. Ah, huh, I love that one. You're going to love it here. We have a lot of fun and we look out for each other, just like any family. Take a look.
something? Let my appearance throw you off. I'm older than you, a lot older. Getting bitten by a vampire when you're 10 will do that to a girl. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. already? As you command, my Thane.
If you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus.